Yeah, good morning. Uh, trying to formulate how to get this idea across. Um, for those of you, uh, here it comes, a word to click off apparently, kinesiology. Uh, as you know, I'm a kinesiologist. Uh, kinesiologist uh, test the body, ask the body questions, and then they apply therapies according to the answers they've gotten. Uh, I have said for years that if you know the answer that you're going to get as a kinesiology, I don't think you're uh, having a lot of integrity as a kinesiologist. Uh, Alan Beardall <clears throat> in, innovated a thing called, a system called clinical kinesiology, and it gave you a wide variety of, of options uh, that you could test with people. And when I work on a patient, client, whatever they're called, practice member, hell's bells, who's, what are they calling them today? Uh, I always refer to my manuals. One of my Swiss patients calls me his very bad doctor. He said, none of my other doctors uh, have to look in their books. And I said, how many other doctors get you better? And he said, whoa, none of them. But <clears throat> between that and the self-actualization learning technologies, okay, I, I've, I've, it's two different technologies that I've learned over the years, but I know that uh, if you think you know what you're doing, you probably don't, at least in this area. Uh, I attended a seminar a couple of weeks ago and there were two people demonstrating kinesiology. Um, that's as far as I'll go on that. And uh, their answers kept coming up to similar things. Uh, and it, the similar things were the products that they were selling. Uh, when I met Martin Sage, my mentor, one of my mentors, Alan Beardall, had come up with a system and he developed a line of vitamins called Core Level Vitamins and I was talking to Martin and he said, I said, here, these are the, the vitamins. And he said, it's a contrived system. And I was furious. I was absolutely furious to even remotely, for him to even remotely suggest that it was a contri contrived system. But then I went out and got evidence that it was contrived. It was, it, was, it was a great system, it's a great healing system, but there were parts of it that were contrived, parts that led to an answer. And today, I apologize, that little fan just seems to have kicked in a little bit on my computer. But uh, today I had a client come in, practice member, patient, whatever, like I say, and he is at a transitional area in his life. He's having hip pain, and as he described it, my first thoughts were, physical, structural, it's, you know, it's uh, possibly a lumbar disc, he had radiating pain in the legs, but I have to dismiss everything I know when I start working. And I started working on him, and it went through <clears throat> and got out into the etheric bodies, out into actually the astral bodies, which are a little bit even different than that. And it came up to an acupuncture phenomena, and then that surprised the shit out of me yet again. It came out to an acupuncture phenomena called windows in the sky, which is to open your connection to the universe. And as I'm going through this, I'm completely not baffled. I know that we're going in the right direction. And so I said to him, you know, what do you want? Because that's one of the things when you get out into those areas. And he answered, answered me so honestly. He said, I don't know right now. And it, there was delight with it. There was like, I don't know, I don't know where to go, I don't know what to do, so I am I go on the train someday and I drive. And, and you can see he's, his life has collapsed around him. His wife left him, took the two kids, not allowing him to see the kids. Whether that's right or wrong, it's none of my business. What I'm saying is it, it's put him on the precipice of a cliff and he doesn't know where to go. But somehow his system has settled in that. Somehow his system is, is absolutely okay and in delight and what is, we're physical beings on a spiritual journey, okay? What his physical body is, is it presenting with complaints so that his spiritual body can open up. And that's what we did with acupuncture, a little bit of intentional conversation and um, therapy, if you want to call it that. But the point of this is, if you're practicing kinesiology, you have... I think, okay, this is my opinion, I think you have to go out into a state of wonder. 
if you don't know how to do that, you have to find somebody who's consciously been there. My only job with my client today was to point out to him where he was. He's out in wonder. He's out. He doesn't know anything. Right? He's in a, one of the highest states of awareness I've seen. That impacts me, delightfully so. Therapeutics doesn't delight me that much because sick people believe in their sickness a lot of times. If I can get them out of that belief, then we can work together. Or if they know they're on their way off the planet and all they want is some soothing. Okay, there was a Swiss man dying of cancer. And I said, what do you want? He said, I want relief. And he would come in and every when he would come in for his appointment, he would say, well, a very old man he is here today. And when he left, he would say, a much younger man is leaving. But when that younger man left, this younger man stayed. Because of his spirit, he didn't want to cure the cancer, although he was going through to see one of the experimental things to see if that would work. And he's since left the planet. I, I'm, it's, it's a paradox. It's, I'm not saying be stupid. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm saying know that you don't know. Follow the lines. Be curious. See where the patient patient's system wants you to take them. Uh, George Goodhart said, listen to your patients, they'll tell you what they want. And this man told me what the symptom was, but it's not, his, his system didn't want structural care for it. I know I'm, I, 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 hope, I hope this makes sense to somebody. It's, it's a clarity that I have when I'm here and I really like it, but I don't know if I can elucidate that over the internet. You guys will know. The kinesiologists, at least, are people who have delved into the world of self-actualization and can recognize its state in somebody else and then hopefully embrace it when you're not there. That's what I'm talking about. I have two systems at work. Kinesiology, which honors the body's healing capacity. It, it absolutely, when my son hurt his knee, it was an anomaly. It didn't make any sense. And so I kept asking the body, what did it want? Right? And he's back skiing, working full-time, with no surgery, and his knee is doing great. Um, the self-actualization technologies that I learned from Martin Sage allow me to keep my curiosity there and allow me to know that I don't know the answers and then recognize somebody who is out, way out, in a state of self-actualization and revel in it with them. Uh, if you don't know what to do, do what you love to do. If you don't have anything you love to do, come and see me. Maybe we can look and see. But that was my question with this man. What do you love to do? One of the things he said was dancing. So, of course, I suggested go dance. <laughs> Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com uh, My book elucidated a little bit. Uh, noticing fixes more than fixing. Have a fun day. It's what you're on the planet for.